With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Question given here is statement 1. Number of elements belonging to exactly two of the sets A, B, C is N of A intersection B plus N of B intersection C plus N of C intersection B minus 3 times N of A intersection B intersection C. Statement 2 says that the number of elements belonging to exactly one of the sets A, B, C is N of A union B union C minus N of A intersection B minus N of A intersection C plus 2 times N of A intersection B intersection C. Let us prove these statements one by one. So here it is given A, B, C are 3 sets. First let us draw the Venn diagram here. So in this Venn diagram, we can consider the first circle as set A, second circle is set B and third circle is set C. Now here statement 1 says that number of element belonging to exactly 2 of the sets. So the elements belong to 2 of the sets. That is we can say that this part belong to exactly 2 of the sets that is A and B. And this part belong to exactly 2 of the sets that is A and C. And this part belong to exactly two of the set that is B and C. And the middle part here, this part belong to all the three elements belong to all the three sets. So we can say this part is N of A intersection B intersection C. So here this part we will name it as 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So we need to find out here for the statement 1. Part 1 plus part 2 plus part 3 is equal to how much? So let us write down part 1 will be equal to part 1 is n of a intersection b minus this middle part. So n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection b intersection c. n of a intersection b intersection c. So n of a intersection b is this full part. Subtracting the middle part here. So we get this. Next second part is. Second part is this part here. So this full part is N of A intersection C. Subtracting N of A intersection B intersection C. So second part is equal to N of A intersection C minus N of A intersection B intersection C. Third part is this part. So it is B intersection C minus the middle part. So N of B intersection C minus N of A intersection B intersection C. Now here we want the region of adding all the three parts. That is first, second and third. So this is the number of elements. Belonging to exactly two of the sets. Is n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection b intersection c plus n of a intersection c minus n of a intersection b intersection c plus third part is n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection b intersection c. Now here all the negative terms we will take together. So n of a intersection b intersection c it is 3 times here. So we will write as n of a intersection b plus n of a intersection c plus n of b intersection c minus 3 times n of a intersection b intersection c. So this is the answer for statement 1. Statement 2 says that number of elements belong to exactly one of the sets is. So here let us draw the Venn diagram. So in this Venn diagram here, this is set A, this is B and this is C. So number of elements belong to exactly one of the set. That means only this part of the set that is only this part. So, if we share here, we can understand. So, only this part of the set that is 
exactly one part of A, then if we want one part of B, only below number of elements belong to part of B, that is this part, and number of element belong to C is only this part. So let us name these three parts as this is part one, part two, and part three. So we need to find out the number of elements in one, two, and three. So number of element belonged exactly one of the set is part one plus part two plus part three. So what is part one? Let us find out. So part one is this part that is equal to this whole set is n of a. From n of a, we need to subtract this part that is n of a intersection b and n of a intersection c. We need to subtract. So n of a minus n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection c so we subtracted these two part that means we need to add this part once we will add so part so n of a intersection b intersection c next part 2 is equal to part 2 is this part b so n of b is here n of b minus A intersection B, then B intersection C. We need to subtract. Then this part we have to add. So n of B minus n of B intersection C minus n of A intersection B plus one time n of A intersection B, B intersection C. Next part three is equal to. So part three is this part here. So A intersection and B intersection C. We need to subtract and this middle part. We have to add. So n of c minus n of a intersection c minus n of b intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c. So the total number of elements belong to exactly one of the set. That is equal to n of a plus n of b. Plus n of c. We will add these three together. Now n of a intersection b. It is two times n of a intersection c is two times n of b intersection c two times. So we can write minus two into n of a intersection b plus n of b intersection c plus n of a intersection c. Then plus. Then here it is n of a intersection b intersection c. It is three times. So we will add this three times n of a intersection b intersection c. So this is the answer for statement three. That is, number of elements belong to exactly one of the set. But the in the question, the answer given it is false. So the first statement is true here, but the second statement is false because the number of element belong exactly one of the set is not this answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.